In this video, I'm going to write a function in C that's going to move all the zeros of an array to the back of the array. So first we'll make a test array. Int data is equal to, and we'll put some non-zero as well as zero elements into this array. So I'll say maybe two, zero, and put in some non-zero elements, some more zeros, another zero, and maybe a couple more non-zero elements to finish it off. And when our function is done with this array, we want it to look like this with two, five, six, seven, four, seven at the front of the array and zero, 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 the four zeros in the array at the back of the array. So let's write this function. Here I'll say void shift zeros and the function will accept as the first argument, the array itself, and as the second argument, the length of the array. And we'll provide a definition of this function down here. And the way we're gonna solve this problem is we're gonna loop through the array while maintaining two counter variables. The first counter variable is gonna look at each element in the array, one at a time. The second counter variable is gonna be used for reassigning elements to a potentially new index in the array based on how many non-zero elements we've encountered. So we're only gonna write non-zero elements to the front of the array using the second counter variable. And it's only gonna be incremented when the element encountered by the first counter variable is non-zero. And that's gonna have the effect of shifting all the non-zero elements to the front of the array. And then what we'll do is from that point onwards, we're gonna write zeros into the remainder of the array, having the effect of shifting the zeros to the back of the array. So here I'll say int count is equal to zero, and then for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. So i is that first counter variable. It's gonna look at each element in the array from zero up until the length of the array, incrementing by one each time. And if the array element at i doesn't equal zero, then this is an element we do wanna write into the front of the array. So in this case here, we'll say array at count is equal to array at i, and we'll increment count. And so we're only going to rewrite that element into the front portion of the array if it's non-zero. And we keep this separate count for how many elements we've written to the front of the array. So next, let's actually do this shifting now of zeros to the back of the array by writing zeros into the remaining elements of the array. So here I'll say for int i is equal to count, i is less than length, i plus plus we can start i off at count because we know count is the next position after we've written the non-zero elements to the front of the array because of what we've done with count in this loop here. And then we'll say array at i is equal to zero. And we'll set all the elements of the array from count to the length to zero. So this should really do it here. Let's call a function and try it out. I'll say shift zeros here we'll give it the data array and I'll make a variable length and set it equal to 10 and we'll actually pass that in. And then after the array has done its work, we'll want to see if the zeros were actually shifted. So we'll print out the array. We'll say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus, and we'll print f each array element. So we'll say data at i here. And we'll just throw in a new line to finish things off. So we'll save this here and run it. And we get 256747 followed by the four zeros. And so here we've written a function in C that can move the zeros in an array to the back of the array. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.